Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. One of my favorite subjects when I was in school, was history. I find it fascinating to study and understand how empires, rise, and fall. One of the most intriguing aspects of the fall of a nation, is to see how often they fall from within. Eventually, one empire takes over another. Sometimes because one became stronger, but often, it's because one became weaker. Sometimes the weaker nation infiltrates the stronger nation, and causes them to fall from within. That is what you are seeing happening before your very eyes right now, in the United States of America. The USA is Earth's last bastion of freedom. Don't get me wrong, America is nowhere near as free as it used to be, but it's still the best country on the planet. So where are we headed, and how did we get where we are? Back in 1933, when then-President Franklin D. Roosevelt enacted the New Deal, the American government virtually doubled in size overnight. And since the New Deal was our first step into the swamp of socialism, FDR filled most of the new government positions with socialists. It seemed like the logical thing to do at the time. Unfortunately those socialists dug in deep, and became entrenched in the fabric of our government. Many refer to those subversives now, as the deep state. They had an agenda to move America closer and closer to socialism, and eventually communism, and ultimately, a one-world government. Communism on its face, appears to be a good thing. The early Christian church even attempted communism, but just like every other attempt, it failed. Communism always fails, because they always turn into a dictatorship, without exception. Who wants to live in China or Russia? No thanks. They start off acting like they are a modern day Robin Hood, taking from the rich and giving to the poor. Unlike Robin Hood, they have an agenda. Their heroic gestures of helping the underdog, are only a veneer. In our case in America, the billionaires want to stay in power, by taxing the millionaires. So they maintain the facade with the, tax the rich mantra, while they themselves continue to get richer by the minute. That's how they plan to survive, by taxing those beneath them, to force them to support the less fortunate, while they help enact laws through corrupt politicians, that allow them the loopholes that the billionaires need, to keep their political puppets in office. The system is quite insidious. So you have billionaires like Jeff Bezos, and Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg, and George Soros, donating millions and millions of dollars to get their socialist candidates elected to office, and then you have politicians like Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, willing to do their bidding, if the billionaires will toss them a few crumbs under the table now and then. The socialists like Harris, Biden, Bernie Sanders, and many others, now go by the name of, progressives. Nothing like a little Orwellian doublespeak. Likewise, they present the violent anarchist known as Antifa, or BLM, as peaceful protesters. Whatever. Nobody's buying that deception. The communists have publicly declared war on America, and have bragged that they will take us down from within, without firing a single bullet. Their openly publicized agenda is to infiltrate and weaken our republic, through the education system, the liberal media, and the entertainment industry. They also bribe our politicians with money, power, and sex. They masquerade as crusaders against racism, but they are simply trying to grab power and control. Whether it's politics in Washington, or violence in the streets, they don't care, as long as they achieve their objectives. So how do we move forward without losing any of our freedoms? Fight. Fight long and hard, then fight some more. Our democracy, our freedom, is at stake. Remember, this ultimately is a spiritual battle, because communism, is atheistic to the core. So fight physically. Fight mentally. But most of all, fight spiritually. This battle will be fought and won, through prayer and submission to the Most High God. Peace be unto you and your house. Don't tread on me big brother, don't tread on me.